Hey, what's up, guys? Um, good to be back on. Good to know that people are subscribing, liking the channel. I get a lot of good feedback, so I really appreciate it. Um, I had a guy ask me a question on my page, was saying that uh, he had just got the MPC and that he tried to drag an audio sequence file onto the screen, and it, you know, it only populated onto the pad. So kind of wanted to go over that in different ways on saving so that can happen um, let's get to it see what happens alright guys so we're on the screen here and um, let's say the, the let's say we got this was from my intro video okay so I'm gonna take this and drag it over here so I can see and when I drag it, it's an audio sequence file. When I drag it over here, it's just going to show me what pad it lands on, right? And it's like, I was kind of wanting to see that on a piano roll. Okay. And um, so if I were to hit my little window like that, I, you know, I don't see there's no piano roll on there, right? So, the only way that I got this to do it uh, was that if you were going to drag a sound on here, I mean, you would have to actually save it as or export it. Now, as a project archive, let me get it over here. See, like these right here. These are all my project archives. This is what they look like, okay? These are songs that I've done here as a project files. So I can drop this right on in here. Well, come on. Let's drop this in here and see see what happens. Loading project, place anything in memory. So if, if somebody were to just emailed me that and I did drag it and dropped it on there and I have all the stuff on my computer that he's got, there it goes. You know, it's all on there. You can see I <laughs> you can see how I stacked my pads <laughs> and change them. Um, you know, so the project archive is pretty dope, dude. So I mean, anybody that wants to co do a little collaboration or anything, you can hit me up, man. I'll send you. I'll send you all these. <laughs> and then uh, project data. I, I just wanted to see the different types. So let's say I went to here and saved it or exported it as um, a MIDI track file. So if you didn't have MPC and you wanted to go ahead and put it in a different DAW and add your own notes to it, like uh, instead of my piano that was on there, you just put it on there as an empty note. You can put whatever, you know pretty pretty sweet and put a trumpet or whatever you want audio mix down that's uh here check this out well would have been nice if I wouldn't have done that this is not it's kind of hard for me to grab that now but let's see what happens if I try to open another one here bear with me guys but you know what I'm saying? If you were to, okay, audio mix, you explode your tracks, okay, and then when you put it into a DAW, it'll actually pop up all the different tracks, like on the faders and everything like that. And then you can select your start and it stops. Like if I just want this little section, my audio mix, I can just set my start and stop time right here. I uh. I locked this up because I went split screen 
but that's what I'm saying. You can you can just load these up like that. You know, pretty sweet. Now, if you go into here, it'll show you everything that you used. You know, and if you if you like these, you know, you just these are wave files. So yeah, you send these out too. Chill trap. You don't have them, you just send them out and just drag and drop them right on into your little thing there on what pad. Bam, it goes on there, and you can just play it at will. It's pretty sweet. But yeah, that's about it. I just wanted to go over those different ways to, you know, to save your work or send it and to get it to pop up on that piano roll for you. Any other questions, man, uh, hit me up. I'm still learning the software, so just kind of bear with me here. Yeah, see, it loaded up all that stuff. So now whenever you go to your different tracks, it's got the whole thing laid out for you. It, it's beautiful, man. Like, even if I didn't like it, I'm going to take this chill, too. There's just so much you can do with it. It's it's sick. And you can add your own effects and be like, okay, cool. Uh, my buddy sent me this. I'm gonna gonna mess with all this stuff. You know, it's just neat. Um, anything else, man? I, I hope the video comes out good. You know, I'm probably my ninth take on this to see if the audio matches up and all that. But I'm learning, so I'll get better. And thank you guys again.